Everyone is in search of that one perfect lens, a lens that can do it all. We want it to be sharp, we want it to be small, we want it to be good in low light. We even want the lens itself to look good. So can a $400 Korean made cine lens check all those boxes? I took it to New York to find out. When it comes to shooting running gun type stuff and travel videos, I'm not a huge fan of shooting on primes. I like having a lens that has a zoom. That way, I don't have to switch lenses back and forth all day. Normally, I use the 12-35 f2.8 as an always-on lens. With that being said, I bought the 12mm Rocket on T2.2 on Boxing Day a couple years ago for under 300 bucks as my first foray into cine lenses. This lens isn't made for running gun shooting. It's made for production shoots like commercials and films. So it has the bells and whistles you'd want for being on set, like a declicked aperture ring, which lets you manually control exposure smoothly without the typical flickering you'd see in a non cine lens. It also has teeth on the focus and aperture ring, so you can easily attach pullers to control focus and aperture remotely. Two big things you'd want on a production set. This lens uses a metal mount, which is surprising given the price point. Most lenses on the cheaper side opt for plastic or a composite. This all metal mount is really nice. Because it's a cine lens, aperture is measured in T-stops instead of F-stops. Now I've never been very good at explaining the difference between the two of these, but from what I do know, a T2.2 is closer to a 1.8 and an F-stop equivalent. So this is a pretty fast lens and it works great in low light shooting conditions. Here's some nighttime footage with it. Here's the thing, I very rarely use this lens. In fact, prior to this trip to New York, I think I only used it once for a wedding and I got two shots with it, both of which I was super happy with, but I've never really been blown away by this lens. Like I said before, my go-to is the 12 to 35. So I have this focal length covered off in my kit already. And with the 12 to 35, I get OIS, which actually makes a big difference. Shooting handheld, even with IBIS on the G85, was still quite shaky on the Rokinon. Another downfall is that it's a fully manual lens, which means it's not ideal for photos, and more often than not, I find myself shooting photos and videos simultaneously. Overall, I don't have anything bad to say about this lens as a production lens, because that's what it's made for. So if you're looking for a high quality cine lens with solid optics and set ready features, the Rokinon is a great choice, and 12mm, which is 24mm on a micro four thirds, is a perfect standard wide prime to have in any kit. So I suppose my search for the perfect lens proved futile because I already own it. <laughs>